My beloved people of God, I greet you all in the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is this morning hour. Jesus meets you two families, GPS, Robinson, Facebook connected all our families. I glorify God for each one of you. Amen. The living word for this day is alive. And it is going to resurrect your spirit, soul and body. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go to the word of God. Children of God. The book of Colossians chapter 1 and verses 29. To this end, I also labor striving according to his work. His working which works in me mightily. His working which works in me mightily. Days and years are rolling very fastly. That means, what does it show? One side, the world is coming to an end. Another side, the second coming of Christ is very near. Amen. So, in these days, there are some things which you need to fulfill. God says, children of God, striving according to His working. Apostle Paul says, the power that was given to me, I'm always striving to work more hard. My dear children of God, in this world, there are so many spirits which are striving. There is one spirit which is above all the spirits, that is Holy Spirit, which is so powerful. And the name of it, it is the power of Holy Spirit. He has given you that if you have not received it so far, believe for it and God will give it for you. That anointing will break all the yoke. Through that anointing, if you work hard, maybe for your studies, for your business, for your occupation, for it's also for your family life, for your ministry, all the hard labor that you do will surely prosper. I want to remind you another verse in 2 Timothy 2 verse 6. It says the hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crops. A hardworking farmer. In any situation, don't be discouraged. If you say that I have written an exam, I have failed. Don't be discouraged. Pray and then go and write the exam. You may be saying, I went for an interview. I didn't get the job. No, God will surely give you a job. I should build a house. So I'm discouraged. Don't say that. Strive for it. Work hard for it. Believe, pray, read the Bible. Surely God will fulfill the desires of your heart. Shall we pray? Our loving Heavenly Father, in this blessed hour, Lord, let your children Strive, filled with the Holy Spirit. Let everything come to pass, Lord. Let them be filled with the prayer and petitions. As your word says, anyone who asks shall receive it. Whatever your children ask for it, whatever they yearn for it, Lord. Let them receive it. Let them walk with the Spirit of the Lord. Let them hear the voice of the Lord. Let them hear and see the power of the Holy Spirit through this message which is titled as Every Day with Holy Spirit. Let them walk every day with the Spirit, Lord. Let this day be a day of victory. Let the day be filled with peace. And let the day be a day of answering, receiving the answerings of all the prayers. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Praise God. Praise be to God. God has given you the boldness. Even now I tell you, you must go and engage yourself in any form of ministry. You can share this message to many other people. That's a ministry. Okay. God will help you. And whatever the blessings you have received, or if you want to comment anything, you can go to the comment section. You can put your comments there. And so that God's name will be glorified by that. God bless you. Our address, Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalaya Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836 7299546363 Email ID gpsrobinson at hotmail.com 
gps.office@jesusmeets.org website address www.gpsrobinson.org